of the things that I used to love to do as a hobby, um, especially like super late at night, was to listen to loud music or put on one of my favorite shows and just paint. Um, I won a couple of um, different awards in high school for different, you know, art projects that I did, mostly watercoloring, and I typically enjoy being artistic, um, but, you know, 35 years old and have a job and hobbies and animals to take care of and a husband, so painting is really something that's on the back burner. So the other morning I couldn't go to sleep and I decided to get um, some paintings done that I've been meaning to do and I just want to see like what the internet thinks about my artwork since you know people are pretty ruthless on the internet so um, please stay tuned take a look tell me what you think don't you know be shy about telling me that it's ugly and it sucks or that you really like it and I have some sort of a talent, um, just looking for people's opinions that I don't know because I feel like when you know people are gonna say that, you know, you do a really good job and they want, you know, you to make something for them whenever it's a holiday. So that's actually what I was painting. So I have um, one of my really good friends. I've painted a picture of her dog and she still has it up in her house. It's hanging up. So I think she actually likes the portrait and um, I think I did a really good job with it. When I was uh, kind of side note, uh, working at a vet clinic, the veterinarian paid me $50 a painting to do um, a piece for each one of his exam rooms. I painted on the street and sold a couple dog portraits to people um, with some other local artists. So anyways, back to the story. So my friend, um, I did her dog portrait painting and she recently got two um, ducks. So she had two ducks last year and unfortunately I think it was a fox that attacked them and she was really sad about it but she got two more ducks this year and these two are super cuddly and she adores them so I decided to paint them for her and give her the painting um, for her birthday. So here we go. Let's see what you think. It's kind of whitewashed. So I showed my, I showed my husband and he said that this duck looks fat, but um, the picture that I was looking at, he was just really fluffy. So I don't know if I captured that right or if it just looks like he's got a fat head. So maybe if I kind of made that part green, that would look better, but then that's not really authentic. He's a fluffy chick. And then this guy back here is supposed to be kind of out back in the distance. Um, I'm not very good at painting grass. I've never actually painted grass before, so I just did it kind of... I don't know I'm really not an artist but I tried my best so I just put some green brown and um, yellow dots all across the canvas and then blended them together and then put up some different dark strands to make it look kind of grassy and um, yeah so this is my gift to my friend a portrait of her two new ducks and maybe I'll kind of prop this up so you can look at that in the distance while I talk about the next one. So, and then my husband, um, it's our anniversary coming up, so he said he wanted me to paint him a picture of a horseshoe crab. In a second, I'll go grab the um, other painting that I've done for him, which is a um, just a regular crab. Um, one tangent I want to get on really quick before I talk about the horseshoe crab is you know, like I've always enjoyed painting, but people would always ask me to paint things for them. And I would just be so busy painting things for other people and then giving it away or selling it for, you know, not a very big price. Um, I would take pictures of things that I would paint, but I never really kept anything. I think I have like one painting of my dog that I did. Um, and I have nothing to really show for all my, you know, all of my work. So that's something that's kind of a bummer about painting things for other people all the time, except for my husband, because I live in the same house as him. But um, yeah, I put all this work into this art and then it, you know, it, it goes. But anyways, this is the horseshoe crab. And I kind of extended that little, I don't know if that's a t actually a tail, but I don't know they flipped themselves over with that thing. But anyways, so, yeah. 
I didn't know how I would do with this. Honestly, I think it turned out better than I thought it would. Um, maybe could have done a little bit better with the shading. I just kind of put the, the dots all over the place, but that's my horseshoe crab. And then prop this up. Okay, and then let me get my original crab that I did for him for another anniversary, and then that's it. Okay, and so this one I did, see I didn't write anything on the back of it, so I can't tell you the occasion. I think it was an anniversary or a birthday or something, but so this is the crab. Okay. So I am definitely interested in your opinion. That's the whole reason I'm putting this on here. Um, I mean, it's not going to stop me from painting if people hate it, but you know, I've heard that I'm pretty decent at painting and my mother-in-law has recently gotten into painting and honestly I think she's like 10 times better than I am but she keeps saying that I'm really good so yeah I just want authentic opinions so I would appreciate if you would leave a comment down below and let me know what you think um, thanks for watching my video I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning but my name is Allie and if you like this kind of stuff let me know and I'd be happy to share more art as I make it thank you